Hey guys, thank you for joining us today for our study of Proverbs. One of the unique things about the book of Proverbs is the first few chapters. Uh, it is from the perspective of a father teaching his son. And in Proverbs chapter five and verse one, he says, my son, be attentive to my wisdom, incline your ear to my understanding. And as fathers, we try and encourage our kids, teach our kids in the ways that are right. And so just imagine a father teaching his son. And one of the things that he warns his son about is adultery, the, the, the wife of another or, or someone that's not your wife. And how when we go after people or things that are, aren't ours, we get ourselves into trouble. And he talks about how uh, women can be a snare and, and, and going after women that aren't our wife uh, can be a snare to us. And he closes the chapter by talking about how in verse 21, for a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord and he ponders all his paths. The iniquities of the wicked ensnare him. And he is held fast in the cords of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline. And because of his great folly, he is led astray. Now, as Michael mentioned, this scripture is really talking mostly about adultery. But those last few passages really can show us that we need to have discipline to overcome all of our sin and temptation. Because not all of us are tempted by adultery, right? Not all of us are married to be tempted tempted by adultery or we're tempted by other people's spouses but we all have our own sins that we have to struggle with and deal with our own temptations that we have to overcome through the discipline that only comes from god and through his holy spirit we since we all have these temptations and this is talked about even in the new testament james 1 14 tells us but each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desires we know that we are all tested in different ways for some, it is adultery. For some, it's pornography. For some, it's being kind to other people and loving. There's many different ways in which we are tempted to not do what God calls us to do. But there's a grave warning in this passage in Proverbs for those who lack the self-discipline to be able to overcome. And we must be looking as to how we can be more and more disciplined each day to overcome the things of the world, to be who God calls us to be. And there's only one place we can find that strength, and that is in God, and that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So let us remember that this week. Help us to spread that message far and wide, and let us be the disciplined people that God calls us to be. I want to thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next week.